Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Deanna and you're watching Orchid. Now this is just a really quick video. I wasn't planning to make a video, um, but I am finally getting around to um, repotting this orchid. It's my last one in the semi-hydro um, liquor and um, it is my little DTPS uh, Red Toccata Formosa. Very, very vigorous, um, floriferous little hybrid there. Um, but my last video, I gave you an update on all my fowls, and um, I told you uh, in the last few weeks, I've found mealybugs on this guy. So they were hiding in between um, the little recesses where the old flowers flowers came out of. Um, they were in here. You can see. So this leaf has grown, but where I was trying to get it out of the crown. It was in between these leaf joints and you can see they sort of built up again. The little bugs everywhere. You can see it on the leaf. Um, and I could see the little white speckles on top of the medium and no matter how much I sort of treated the plant, uh, short of repotting it and taking it out of the pot, there was clearly something going on inside. So yeah, finally taking it out and I, just wanted to show you what was inside the pot because I am so grossed out. So you can see um, there are some dead roots in the middle here, uh, but I have to show you guys this. Do you see that root? They are mealybugs. Can you see it crawling? They're on the roots. Look at that. On those fresh root tips. So this is what came out of my pot. I've got obviously some dead roots here. Um, and I, I just never seen anything like this. Look at that. Look at those mealybugs. So yeah. Um, I don't know what to say guys. The way I looked after this guy, um, sort of in with my other fowls, it's got pretty good ventilation. I put the fans on um, during the day and I just keep the window open a little bit at night. Um, it gets flushed every week. So once a week it gets a full like minute of flushing um, and then every second week I fill it with a little bit of fertilizer and on the other weeks it's just plain RO water. That's what I do, that's all I do. And um, yeah, I thought the flushing would be enough. I don't know uh, how else I would have prevented this, but I'd love to know if this has happened to anybody else. I am just so grossed out. So <laughs> yeah, um, this guy is getting cleaned up and getting a really, really thorough treatment because um, no doubt there's stuff all between the little leaf joints and everything. And I want to kill, kill all the bugs all of them uh, so yeah and then I'll um, obviously pot it back into my usual uh, organic mix um, probably in a large bark mix with um, some sphagnum so yeah um, I'll come back once I've repotted it but I just I just wanted to show you because um, yeah I just I couldn't believe it I can't believe it look at this they are absolutely everywhere Ugh, I'm almost like ashamed when all the other fowls are doing so well. This one, this poor guy. Oh. Anyway guys, I'll see you in a minute. And just before I go, sorry, I just um, found, this is what I mean. See that in there? That's a little mealybug hiding in that little bit. Oh. Wow, now I'm debating whether I should just cut my losses and cut this flower spike. Um, I think I think I will um, just because I don't want to risk any more um, of these mealybugs surviving but oh what a shame it's in bud and everything oh let me have a think about it I'll clean it up and get all the mealybugs off and um, yeah I'll be back all right everyone well here she is in her new home all fixed up um, as you can see, I did end up chopping off that flower spike. Um, yeah, just thought I'll cut my losses. 
there were clearly mealy bugs on the spike um, and yeah just didn't feel that it was worth it to keep it and um, I'm fairly confident this will uh, give me new flower spikes come autumn um, so yeah um, I also repotted this new cat layer at the same time this is a uh, BLC Empress Worsley Roman holiday so I just wanted to show you because um, I use the same ingredients for both of the mixes but I've um, sort of composed them differently so what I've got is um, a mix of liquor, large bark, um, and my usual pre-mix of um, medium bark, charcoal and perlite, and sphagnum. Um, the fowl, so the fowl has been in liquor for a year. It's used to being wet and it's used to um, a lot of air. So I've actually added quite a high proportion of liquor beads, um, but I put sphagnum in all my fowl mixes as well. Um, so it's got a reasonable amount of sphagnum through there, um, as well as quite a few liquor beads. Um, whereas this one, same ingredients, but um, a lot more in the way of the large bark um, and only a little bit of sphagnum. Now I still put sphagnum in my cat layer mixes uh, just because of the rate they dry um, in summer. Like I'd be watering them every day if I didn't. So at least this sort of drops it down to every third or fourth day on the hottest days of summer. Um, but yeah, it actually had um, a bit of rot in the back bulb. So I chopped off about maybe four bulbs um, and it still had a little bit of a ring so it did have a, the purple ring um, around so yeah maybe it had some fusarium but you can see it's growing on well it did have good roots um, in the front portion of the plant and um, yeah I cut it back to a point where there's still a little bit of black <clears throat> but I've given it a good soak in some antifungal solution um, I've had quite a few plants with that you know little purple ring um, and the fusarium but um, all I do is I give them all a good soak in antifungal I pot them up I water them separately um, and I actually haven't lost any yet they've all pulled through um, so far so yeah I don't know um, I just treat fusarium like um, I would any fungal infection really so yeah uh, this one also got a soak in a bit of fungal solution because I had it out um, but they both got a very good spray of um, bug spray this one I pulled some of the sheath sheets back and there was a little bit of scale underneath them so yeah I'm always glad I, I take off the sheets so yeah guys I think it'll be interesting to track the progress of this little one hopefully all the mealy bugs um, have been eradicated um, but yeah it was it was quite the infestation so uh, yeah I'm gonna be keeping a very close eye on it from here on in and yeah <laughs> if you guys enjoyed that little update uh, please give it a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more orchid videos I hope you guys have a great week and happy growing until I see you next time bye